Hi guys, let's do a little bit of reading. I won't read for long today because uh, I'm going to start over from Revelation 1. I know you guys are like, please don't start over. But I think I deleted some things that had to do with Revelations. And it's important for us to understand, if we don't understand the rest of the Bible, let's understand the last book of the Bible, if nothing else. Some Snapple peach tea. It is so good. Okay. And it don't have no low calorie. This is regular sugar. You know, I don't eat low calorie stuff. Like low cal sugar. You got to be careful with that because you don't know what kind of sugar it is. Some of these sugars are bad for you. That they use that as, a, as an imitation kind of thing. It's better to eat the regular kind of sugar. You know, just drink less of it. Now. If you don't have a Bible, I got this Bible, guys. Yeah, we're at the Dollar Tree. I had another one that I really like better than this one, but this one reads just the same. You know, if it say King James, it was translated through King James from the original language. You wanted to say the King James translation. You know, people rewrite Bibles all the time just to uh, make money. They rewrite them all the time. Now, the the first book of the Bible, we're going to do Genesis and Revelations kind of simultaneously. I want you to understand. What happens in the beginning sometimes happens in the end. I don't want you to see this. In Genesis 1, listen to this. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and, ga and the gathering together of the waters, God, he calls seeds. And God saw that it was good. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. We're all the way down in Genesis 10. He made the waters on the beginning on the top and on the bottom then he said the waters on the dry land will be called earth seas and the waters above what did he call the waters above gather together the waters he called them seas that was on the earth the water on the dry land was called earth and the waters under heaven were gathered together in one place and let the dry land appear. So there are waters, obviously, above us. And then there are waters on the, beneath us, under the earth. So the firmaments of heaven have water all around. So we want to think about everything being made of water, basically. Are we fish? <laughs> no, guys, I'm just, I'm just making a little prank here. Now, let's go over here to 1 John. It says, That which was from the beginning, which we heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness and shew unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. Talking about Jesus. 
that which was that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son jesus christ and these things write unto you that your joy may be full this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that god is light and in him is no darkness at all if we saw that we have fellowship with him if we say we have fellowship and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth do not know the truth but if we walk in the light and he is the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanseth us from all sin if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us now that's the first epistle of john 1. all right so now we're going to go over here to revelations 1. revelations 1 says the revelation of jesus christ which God gave unto him to shew unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Jesus Christ wants to reveal something that God told him. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. So he sent his angel unto John, which was his servant and his friend. And he told his servant, I want you to send this message to John. And so John is taking a message from the angel sent by Jesus. Jesus says, send this down. It's a message from me. Blessed is he that readeth that they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Number four, Revelations 1. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Now, we know that the seven spirits before God's throne is the Holy Spirit. They accompany Jesus Christ. So we're in Revelations 1 and 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loveth us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. So now, Jesus is the first one to wake up from being dead and become alive to live eternally. Jesus is the prince and the head of all, everybody who's in charge, kings back then, presidents, whoever. He's the king and, and the one, the leader in charge. He also died on the cross because he loved us and he wanted to save us from all sin, earthly sin. And number six, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So after he died for our sins to cleanse us from all sin and sinful uh, ways of life, we have become like him as a king and a priest in high places. We can go into prayer in heavenly places. 
Now it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierceth him, and all kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. Number eight, I am Alpha Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. So when he come back, everybody shall see, he said, every eye shall see me when I return, every eye. He said, you're not going to miss me when I come. It's not going to be a fabrication or a made up thing. He said, every eye shall see him. And he is the one who created all things, as I read to you in Genesis. He is the beginning, the end, and the last. And number nine, John, who also am your brother, and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isles that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now he's on the island of Patmos. The angel came to him to give the testimony. He wanted to hear what God says, what Jesus says to him. So this is what he's saying to him. I was in the spirit of the Lord on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. I heard a voice saying, I am Alpha Omega, the first, the last, who was sent. Write a book, write this in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. And this, the first one is Ephesus. The next one is Smyrna. The third one is Pergamos. The fourth one is Tythera. The, the fifth one is Sardis. The sixth is Philadelphia. And the seventh is Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and began, and and began, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks is one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. Now, the Lord is always in the midst of all churches. Each church has its own angel that keeps the church, and those are the candlesticks. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and his feet was like unto fine brass, as though they were burned in the furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars. No, the seven stars are the seven angels. I'm sorry. The seven stars and out of his mouth was a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. <clears throat> and he laid his right hand upon me saying unto me fear not I am the first and the last I am he that liveth and was dead and behold I am alive forevermore amen I have the keys of hell and of death write these things which thou hast seen and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter the mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. The seven candlesticks, which thou sawest, are the seven churches. So the candlesticks that are burning are the seven churches. The church have lights. They are the light of the world, the seven churches. Now, all of the churches have angels that are encompassed. Now, um, unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, write these things. We'll go into that when I come back. I don't want to make these videos very long. I'm just going to give you a brief synopsis of uh, two when I come back on here. And three. But I'm also going to go re refer back to two back further in the Bible so we can pick it up like that.
where they speak about this church is somewhere else. Okay? Talk to you later.